sent into the ancient past. Their dino watch will set off a mystic ice blast to save humanity, so they gotta move fast. This brave team will enter the dragon land. Fears no option, they got to get the fire rock. The superheroes are ready for battle Using the special powers together Dino Frogs Driven to win one for all and all for one Dino Frogs Nothing can stop them, not even Drake, come on Dino Frogs Fighting together to save the whole planet Superheroes are ready for the fight United they stand together Dino might Nothing will ever stop them And the Dino Bros The Fury of Drakemon There's no point in fighting at Drakemon Go away! Go! It can't be prevented it's over for you. But I'm the Lord of the Dragons. I will not accept this. My fate will not be as yours. You forget, I was once Lord of the Dragons as you are. Your subjects will turn on you just like they turned on me, and you'll fail. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. Oh. What seems to be troubling you, my lord? I had a nightmare about Nesseron. He said I'd share his fate. You know it was nothing but a dream, my lord. Yes, the missing dragons trouble me. Curse those humans. They're the source of my anger. I know they're hiding the dragons. As agreed, we're keeping the subject sedated. It's an unknown species of dragon mutant. Excellent. Outrageous. I'm very glad you're excited, because your work on Gene D is vital to my future plans. Professor Stroker, I would like to ask one more favor. Understanding the Dino Froze could help my research. Could I have a copy of the files you have on them? Of course. I'll have Bert provide you with the data we collected. Mm-hmm. Seems like the good doctor has an unhealthy curiosity about Dinofros. It doesn't matter. Don't let any of our Dinofros files get to Hoda. They belong to me. Get it? So, you think this is gonna be enough or what, smart guy? Yeah, I think that should just about be enough, and actually, we'd better get going. We dropped the food off in Mahedi's village because we're awesome. And just up the road is the latest hunk of fire rock. Yeah, you forgot to mention the latest terrible giant dragon mutant we have to fight if we want to stay healthy. And don't forget that we have to add Stroker to our growing list of those who wish to destroy us and our mission. Hey there, Prof. So, did you really make up with Professor Warnell, even though he works for the dreaded Double Delta Division? I'm not entirely sure about that, Eric. Huh? Look, there's Kara. Hey guys, come on, let's get going. Mahedi. What do you want? Jenna wants your stick that makes sounds. No, it's mine. No more. Hmm. And you're telling me these are the champions you've come up with? I told you I wanted the best. The tournament on the day of the two stars must be grand and exciting, are they? These are the best from among the prisoners. If they're not satisfactory, then we're gonna have to go out and do some hunting. That's exactly what you'll be doing. Arctic and Petrus, scour the villages with a team of dragon fighters. Find me warriors. Make sure that we have a tournament 
will remember always. As, As you, you command, command, my lord my master. and master. Vlad, I want this festival to be perfect, and I'm not going to tolerate any problems. Then perhaps I can do a good service by informing you of the latest malignant rumors. What are my subjects whispering now? It's ridiculous, but they say your demise is imminent. Hmm. So they say my demise is imminent? Vlad, it may interest you to know that I am convinced that my enemy will reveal himself on the day of the two stars. We'll reach Mehdi's village soon. And once we leave there, we proceed, um, on up to the beach of the Dragon Skull? Which is up this way. You look a little bit worried there, Tom. What's up? I've been wondering about Stroker. Something about this just feels wrong to me. How did he know? How did Stroker find out about the Dynafros anyway? I've been wondering about that myself ever since I found out he was involved with Double Delta Division. I've got a nagging feeling there's some piece of the larger puzzle all of us are missing. Dino watch time, guys. Looks like there's dragons headed our way. Confirmed. I have eyes on the dragon fighters coming in from the south. How many dragons are there this time? Four. Flying in formation. Ah, oh, and they're not alone again. The Dino Watch is telling me they've all got humans in their talons. Hey, they're over oh. there! Do they pick them up at the people store or something? <laughs> Bob's in the cannon. John, we need to make these dragons chase after us. It just so happens that making dragons angry is my specialty. Okay, Professor? Uh, I read you, Eric. You guys take care of those dragons. And I will try to take care of the wounded. Roger that. We'll check you later. Captain? All right, J-Truck, let's do this thing! One of the wounded is Mahedi's father. He says Mahedi's gone. Does that mean the dragons huh? have taken them? He was already gone when the dragons attacked. We'll come back for you later, Dad. Huh. Looks like now we're on a mission to find Mahedi. Biosign detector has found a fresh set of human tracks of the proper size. Are you really sure they're small enough? Child size six. Small enough for you? It's Mahedi, all right. But there's a million caves around here. It could be tough to find him. Okay, we look for the footprints, then we follow them. <sighs> this place always gives me the willies. Well, according to the Dino Watch, the footprints stop right here. Um, there's nothing here but a rock wall. Could he climb the uh -huh. cliff? Too steep. And climb it to where? Am I the only one that hears that music? Wait, sounds like Mahedi's flute. But I can't tell where it's coming from. Uh, from the spooky caves, of course. But where's the entrance? Ah. I don't know, but he's right on the other side of this rock wall. That gives me a totally radical idea. Wait right here! On second thought, might want to back up. Oh. 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 
Mahedi. Ah, hmm? uh, Tom. Hey, Tom. <sighs> Come on, I got gotcha. you. Mm. <laughs> Mahedi hide because Jeno wanted Mahedi's music stick. Mahedi went to cave where used to be able to play in peace, but now it's full of mean men watching good men dig up shiny rocks. What happened after that? Mahedi have to go and find new cave. Big boom. Then Mahedi trapped. Guys, we really should get back to your dad and all the wounded. You got it, John. We'll take Mahedi with us. There can be no excuse. This time we must get the Virock Fragment. I know this dragon is up to the task. I hope he is for your sake, Vlad. Because I will not tolerate another failure. I understand, Master. We will not fail. Welcome back from the fire pit. Embrace your destiny. All my power shall be spent in your service, my Lord Drakemon. <laughs> Those shiny rocks that Mahedi mentioned are actually large diamonds. The Double Delta Division is exporting them to the future. Just as Professor Warnell said. What a racket! Pure diamonds and unlimited supply. Uh, what is that absolutely terrifying noise? It's nothing. Kara was just having a little discussion with Jeno. Let's get moving, you guys. We need the phoneme phone. This isn't really any of our business. There's no way I'm missing Jeno getting a sound thrashing. You must listen to Kara. I told you stop bothering Mahedi. Jeno, no listen to Kara. Jeno do whatever Jeno wants. Jeno has turned into such a terrible person that Kara hate him. Jeno care not. Kara hate no matter. But Kara will obey. Ha! Uh -huh. She really doesn't need your help, Tom. So Kara must obey Jeno? Kara would sooner obey a dead monkey. Huh? I predicted the score would be Kara 1, Geno Zip. That was a lot of fun. Now we've got to get back to work. We have to acquire the next Fire Rock Fragment. Kara was great. Really life-affirming stuff. Yeah, that girl is tough. Would you not agree, Captain? If you're done talking about Kara, Maybe we can get back to saving the whole planet, all right? The beach of the Dragon Skull should be right over there. Huh? Guess what? You really like Kara? Red light time. Get your game faces on, gentlemen. Turtle Dragon is already waiting for us. What other information does the Dino Watch have on him? Name, Turtle Dragon. Dragon mutant species. Three tons, fully armored, virtually unassailable. That's a hard shell. Yeah, that armor's too hard to even scratch. Its attacks are all based on leveraging its incredible size and weight. He's also capable of flight by way of beetle wings that sprout out of his shell. And his special attack is completely wrapping his opponents in flames. Now what is the most appropriate way to counter this big bad boy? And there's the turtle dragon! Oh. Buckle up, boys. This is gonna be rough. Well, hello, Dino Rose. Ah. Wow, that thing is huge. Tom better be careful. Turtle Dragon is strong but slow, which means I need to be strong but fast. Dino Froze Evolution! Wow, Gorilla, uh, again! He likes monkeying around. Ah! Give me a hug, hey, turtle! What are you doing? Get off my back, you stupid monkey! Hey, I'm not a monkey, I'm a gorilla! Well, whatever you are, you're about to be sorry! 
What? Thanks for the love tap. No problem, there's plenty more where that came from. No, you're allowed to fight back anytime. Wow, that was just lame. Is that the best you can do? Let's play up with the turtle. How about down with Dynafroze? Wow, I did not think this through. You're coming out of your shell. Where do you think you're going? Man, so that's what three tons feels like. Or like 3.2 because I've been bulking up. I'm not sure Tom Kong can take this thing on his own. Man, this is hard. This uh, desert I call home is the place you're going to die. Uh, you were never going to defeat me. John, you've got to knock that thing onto its back. I can try, but what if I hit Tom as well? If we don't try something, Tom might be done for. And here goes nothing. Uh, 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 huh? Uh, Thanks for the assist. I was wrong to try and go against that armor force to force. Time for a change up. So, have you had enough yet? All right, John, tell us what's going on out there. Everything out here looks absolutely normal. I'm stumped. But how are we gonna help Tom if the J truck won't start? I cannot waste any more time. You look a little bit confused, Dynafroze. Well, I'm not. Dynafroze, switch! What is he up to now? Yo, it looks like Tom decided that it's time to get his raptor on. Here it comes, Shellhead. Was that supposed to tickle? Tell me, do you ever take the shell off? I was hoping you'd be a little bit smarter than the gorilla was. You gotta do better than that. Things are weird. Those weird little wings are his weakness. They're the chink in his armor. How do those little things lift you off the ground? None of your business. But I just have to know. Slow by nature. I'm strong and fast. Uh. 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 
It's just too tough. Oh, whoa. This is really not working out like I had planned. I got us back online, but just barely. Well, then it looks like we won't be leaving here with that fire rock fragment after all. Enough! Well, not enough anyway. Nothing you do can hurt me. You should run, Dynafros! Hey, Tom, listen, man. We're having serious engine problems with the J truck. We're not in any position to help you against that monster. What do you think we should do? I'm sorry to say, I don't think we have any choice but to chalk this one up as a loss. <sighs> Well done, Vlad. You did not let me down. Turtle Dragon was highly effective, and the largest fire rock fragment is safely in our hands. Mm hmm. Our future has finally been secured. I agree. Great news in time for the festival. Indeed. While I take this fragment somewhere where it will be safe, spread news of our victory. It'll be my pleasure. <gasps> the dragon's revenge will be fulfilled. Now I can stand proud at the ceremony of the Day of the Two Stars, awaiting the Comet Fire Rock's beautiful destruction. Uh... Dad, um... What's happening? It was Geno's decision to move out of the village. It was the right decision. I wish him a long and happy life far from here. Not everyone agrees with you, Melston. A lot of these people respected him. His voice gave them confidence. Geno's a leader of this community. He is brave, but he has a huge mouth and no ears. The Dinofros is the best defense for this village. Well, today, the Dinofros are nothing but a big fat disappointment. What happened out there? guys. We lost the largest fire rock fragment. And now the fragment's in the hands of Dracomon. You're the Dinofros. You'll get it back. Trust the mammoth. Tom, fellas, when we fail, we figure out why and we go fix it. I'm still waiting for those Dinofros files from Bert. But I have to admit, that's not why I wanted to talk to you. Huh? Is something wrong with the Gene D research? Have you encountered some kind of problem? I'm not speaking to you as a scientist now, but just as a man. The people that work in your mine are enslaved primitive men. Why is it like that? I promise you there's no slavery involved. These people are happy to help as long as we feed them. The Double Delta Division does not work like this, Stroker. You know that you need trained personnel with proper equipment. Was his main beef really job site safety? I'd love to hear his official Double Delta Division opinion of my next little project. <sighs> and that'll be... I'm going to kidnap Tom Carter and study him. But we have to be really careful. Our Dr. Hoda must never know about this. Together to 
Stand together, dynamite. Nothing will ever stop the man of dynamite.